Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shane. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about the chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewale intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Porto Prince and entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. Getting close, Shay. Captain, an English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's got a crown cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. Just sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls and all spoils. Thank <laughs> you. 
that the, the man? The sea between here and Anticostia is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandell is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, oh, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. Anticosti shouldn't be far. Keep us on course, Captain. Is this the place? There'll be nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Anchor away! What do you be needing today, then? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Captain's at the helm! We should Captain. resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. Your chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Blues down! On your seats! Coming loose. Some sort of cargo there, sir! Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Floating cargo! The foe patrols these waters closely, Captain. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. How much must it be? And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Antipasti. What say you? You sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. figured out for us. Now maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt hair, hope in skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? 
We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like tar. They don't feel liberated until we pry them off. It seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murder bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. And we have nothing in common with that, of course. There it is. Anticusti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Darsol, but mates! For sale! For sale! Darsols, let's catch this squall! Brief it all, Tops! Turn on! Dock the ship here, Captain. Arrived at Anticosti Island. the fur trade. <laughs> Not well enough to put beef on my family's plates. If you want beef, raid more British bricks. They're loaded down with barrels. Oh, yes. Their Irish farms yield much meat, don't they? Well, that is smart management. Far better than the locals could do. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where to no charts, no... no... No maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could kill Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. What's our next headed? Wherever this Lawrence Washington drops his arm. See him. You're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's that to like? Good. Hoist anchor. Where does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins. Same as him. He's more experienced and he knows his waters better, Shane. It makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? So 
need some respect, Shane. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often, it seems. It's just a thing. Chevalier hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I wonder how much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear, Liam, sometimes I feel I was more grown up when we were children. We slept rough and scrounged for meat, but at least we decided where and when. and cuts the wind! Crowd on every inch of sail! Who's top so gallants and royals? Over there, Captain. The fishing set in the Greystone. The French took over after it was ransacked by bandits. The assassin allies have their home in two bends. A head sir. Ugh. <sighs> 